Hey, what's up guys? This is Jacob with Nerd on the Street Gaming. This is the first solo video I think I've done in a long time, and uh, I was going to do a live stream tonight, live streaming Toontown, but apparently the Toontown developers broke the Linux and Mac versions like a month ago and haven't fixed it yet. So, um, yeah, thanks Toontown rewritten developers for dropping support for Mac and Linux after you supported them for over a year. So since I can't do that, I decided to go ahead and try this out. Um, I went ahead and I purchased Ruby Grim Eclipse quite a while ago. Um, it was like pretty much the first week it was out on uh, Steam early access or whatever. Um, I voted for it when it was on green light, and then yeah, I, I as soon as it was available for purchase, I purchased it. And yeah, I haven't even booted it up yet, I haven't played it yet. To be honest, I'm a huge Ruby fan, but I'm not a fan of how much Rooster Teeth oversells their merchandise, so I'm really not sure what to expect uh, going into this. But yeah, I'm going to just uh, play through some of this, and I'm going to be using my mouse and keyboard today rather than my... my uh, gamepad. I am going to fix one thing real quick. All right. Going to move this window up here so that I can actually see a little bit. And I think I'm going to move the microphone over here. All right, here we go. Uh, so this is currently Ubuntu. Uh, I'm running Windows inside of an Ubuntu virtual machine using GNOME boxes. This is the first time I've tried gaming um, in GNOME boxes. I've tried... I I have barely even tried gaming in VirtualBox before, but like the one time I tried it, I don't remember it working very well. Uh, but yeah, this is Windows 10 inside of GNOME boxes. So yeah, this might not work. Um, I might have to not do this. Uh, they are working on a Mac version of Ruby Grim Eclipse, probably because most of the people who make Ruby use Macs to do that. Uh, since I know Rooster Teeth uses Macs for a lot of the production stuff, um, makes sense that the employees there would want a Mac version. Obviously, I'm not expecting Rooster Teeth to release a Linux version of this game, unfortunately, um, even though I would love it if they did. If they release a Mac version, then I might be able to install like a Hackintosh distro, and that might give me a little better performance inside of a virtual machine. Um, but yeah, I no longer have a physical Windows installation. So uh, that's all tech channel stuff. We're on the gaming channel. I'm just going to click play here. We're going to see how this game works in GNOME boxes. I think sound's gonna work just fine. Um, yeah, video capture's working just fine, and the response time is pretty good for the mouse. It's not it's not as good. There's definitely a little bit of lag since this is a virtual machine, but... Um, oh, yeah! Alright. Um, okay, I'm thinking that there might be an issue with the audio in this... Yeah, I'm thinking there might be an issue with the audio, because I think Gnome Boxes actually has an audio issue. Also, this is super... Uh, okay, this is bad. This is really laggy. Hmm. Alright. Sounds like episode one score playing in the background there. Um, hmm. Let's see if we can go into our settings and just turn all the options way down. And yeah, I think Ruby uh, Grim Eclipse has a story in it. Yeah, we want we want full screen. Quality is currently set to potato. Um. <clears throat> okay. Oh, standard. So it starts at, at the lowest option, I guess. Yeah, we don't want standard. We don't want high. We want the lowest option possible. And we just have to keep clicking through till we there we go. Okay. Boy. All right. Yeah. This is this isn't gonna work very long because uh, you you guys can see my mouse. I think you guys can see my mouse. Yeah, I think you guys can see my mouse. This is definitely episode one score on the back. Uh, single player. Yeah. This this is not going well so far. All right, I need to decide what I want to do here. Okay, I'm I'm gonna click on chapter one. We're gonna we're gonna see what happens, and I'll just kill this machine if uh, this virtual machine if this doesn't work very well. All right, press T to chat. I'm playing single player. Select character. All right, sweet. So I got my player thing down here that I assume will show an avatar, maybe some 
like HP info. Yeah, that that audio is flickering. Audio is not. What? Can I not select my character? Hello? Hello? Can I? There we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to choose Weiss. She's my favorite out of the four of them. All right. Play. This is this is not going to work. I don't know why I'm going going through this menu because I can tell this is going to be way too laggy. You know, it, it, uh, considering how powerful the computer is, I feel like I should be able to um, play a game in a virtual machine. Windows 10 probably has a huge overhead low. Um, Linux has a very little overhead when you're running in virtual machines, but yeah, Windows Windows 10. I'm gonna go ahead and blame it on Windows. So yeah, hopefully when that Mac version comes out, that'll work a little better than this. Okay, and oh boy, oh my. <laughs> okay, uh, guys, this is not the screen recording software making it look so slow. It's actually that slow. That is actually how slow I am seeing things move on the screen. Um, all right. So, um, hmm. how do you move? Is it WASD? I was using the arrow keys. Uh, w, oh, yep. <clears throat> or is that just an attack? Is that an attack? Did I just attack? Or did I move? I just wanted to walk. Okay, this isn't working. Hmm. I'm gonna try windowed mode. Uh, maybe if we do windowed mode, that'll, that'll work a little better. Settings. Yeah, see, I, it needs to be where the menus actually are smooth. We're gonna turn full screen right off. Oh, no, 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 maybe I can, uh, turn full screen back on. I I'm just gonna try decreasing the resolution here. Man, that audio is killing it, though. And it's sad, because I like the music. The reused music that I've heard before, I think. Alright, come on. Wow, that, <clears throat> the music's actually kind of getting annoying now, because it's just going on and off. Um... Come on, resolution. Come on. I wanted to recheck full screen. Can we please just check that? Come on. <sighs> All right, checking full screen. I clicked it. All right. Now bring it back down to resolution. Our camera's moving over there. I didn't. I, I don't know why the camera's moving. Because I'm in the pause menu. Uh, no, we do not want a. Resolution that is higher than all right. 720p is the lowest we can go. <laughs> oh, that looks horrible. All right. That all right. So now the game looks like crap because I have just turned the resolution down lower than the physical space that I'm viewing this in. Come on, go back. All right, resume. And, uh, yep, yeah, no, alright, when I move my mouse, what's it do? Uh, I, oh, oh, my mouse isn't captioned in this game. Uh, does zooming do anything? Alright, I'm calling it. <laughs> I'm, I'm shutting this down, this isn't working. Calling it officially right now. Oh, oh, that's good. I got a title screen. All right. <laughs> that's excellent. Um, come on, I'm hitting escape. Can I... Okay, here we go. Get, uh, actually, is there anything I can do to make this perform better? All right, CPU's way high up. Um, give it an 8 gigs of RAM. See, if I wanted to use my game controller, I could do that right here. And all the options that I have. All right. It's not enough options. It's actually not enough options. Um, okay, we're going to exit. <sighs> Come on. I Did I not just click yes? Did I not just click exit? All right, we're killing this machine. Okay, well, that really didn't work very well, did it? Uh, do I have VirtualBox installed? No, I don't even have it. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. 
No. No, I don't. Oh, hi. Um, hmm. <sighs> okay. Oh. You know, it's funny. I, I had that, that Windows Boxes thing. Like, I installed that almost a year ago, probably. Probably close to a year ago I installed that. Um, maybe not quite a year ago. At least six months ago. Specifically to play Ruby Grim Eclipse. Like, that was the only Windows game that I wanted to play on this computer. Um, I've got, like, one or two other Windows-only games. All my other ones. I usually only buy games when they work under Linux. But yeah, I had that. I had that installed for a long time, and it just didn't work, did it? All right, so this Ruby Grim Eclipse Let's Play has just turned into a how to install Windows video, which is not at all one day, not at all what I wanted this to be, but here's how to install Windows 8 uh, using the Virtual Machine Manager. Uh, the first time I installed it through GNOME Boxes. This time I'm installing it through, um, yeah, this Virtual Machine Manager, which, <clears throat> hey, could you go ahead and work? Here we go, this is what I'm looking for. All right, so CPUs, we got that all here. Um, copy host, yes please. And memory, oh yes, memory, okay, boot option, where's video? We'll go through this one at a time, all right. See, I didn't get, I didn't get all these options with GNOME boxes, I just like installed it, uh, and that was it. Start virtual machine on host boot up, no. Da -da. All right, IDE disk one. Is it going to be an IDE disk? Can't do like SATA? No, we're going to do SATA. Network, tablet, a tablet. I guess that's instead of a mouse. Okay. Display. Yeah, yeah. We might try changing this to VNC, but yeah, I think. I, I don't even know. I'm not familiar with what spice means. I've, I didn't realize that that's what we were using before, but I know that VNC is not great performance-wise all the time. Uh, ports, I don't know, I don't know. All right, video. All right, this isn't really giving me any options for uh, for video. Um, I'm gonna go close the other thing I had open, and I had Chrome open for a specific reason. I don't normally use it. Um, okay. Video, QXL versus... So there's actually Windows drivers for QXL. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, we'll uh, we'll keep QXL and all that. All right. Let's begin. I I could probably use this in the boxes one actually that I've already got going. All right. Well, this is this is installing now. Yeah, it definitely looks a little different than uh, GNOME boxes. A little bit less user-friendly-ish. What, what? Okay. All right. I feel like Windows 8's performance isn't even that great, so. Do I have my Windows 7 disk? I wonder where my Windows, well, my key for Windows 7 doesn't work anymore. It broke. My Windows 7 disk is upstairs. All right, we'll stick with 8. I think. I can upgrade to Windows 10 for a few more days. I wonder if I already I already upgraded to Windows 10 once. Is it gonna let me do that forever now? Yeah, I'm just gonna. Well, I don't want to push the machines of the host here. Um, since I'm recording, I don't want to push the push the resources of the host. If I'm, I wonder. I'm just gonna open up Activity Manager because if I have enough resources, I kind of want to boot up. Um... Oh yeah, I'm fine on RAM. I want to boot up that box, and I just want to see if installing that driver oh all right it appears that since one of my virtual machine managers is open the other one's not going to work so that's cool uh, we'll just not do that all right so this is how you uh, install something with with this i'm not sure if this is going to get published to the tech channel because like I said, this was supposed to be a gaming video, so I was not prepared for this at all. Normally when I do tech videos, I actually do like research, sometimes I do a trial run. All right, let's be honest, I very rarely do a trial run. All right, we have a spinning circle there. 
spinning circle. If I could just download a Windows Windows 10 ISO. All right, so this isn't gonna do everything automatically like GNOME boxes did. I'm gonna have to walk through this myself. Is the Windows 10 ISO Windows 10 ISO? Let's do that. Can we can we skip that? Can we skip it? Do we have to? Oh, I think we have to put one in now. All right, MIDI creation tool. That's not what I wanted. No, I want the Windows 10 ISO. <sighs> Requiring me to have Windows in order to download Windows is not a uh, not a smart thing to do if they want to switch people over to Windows. All right, nine. Oh, I'm gonna have to block this out, even though I'm pretty sure it's gonna break in a few days anyway. Cause like I, we're literally coming up. Like I think it's. Today's the 17th, I'm pretty sure like the 20th Windows 8 keys are going to stop working. Uh, or they're, they're not going to work for Windows 10 anymore, you won't be able to do the, do the upgrade anymore. I think it's the 20th. I, it might have happened already, I actually don't know. Okay. Yeah, now see this is what, oh, copying, okay that actually didn't take that long I guess. I was worried that copying the files from the DVD to the hard drive would take a while. I know it goes, th this installation, yeah, see now I can see my computer accessing the, the DVD drive. Um, this goes quicker. This goes quicker when, when you're using an ISO image that's on your computer. It might have been quicker to actually just rip the DVD that I've got into an ISO image. I should have done that. I should have ripped the DVD into an ISO image because then it could have done all this processing stuff off of the hard drive. That's all right. Let's see what the deal is. Uh, that Windows... Upgrade, expire, July, July 29th, all right, I, I have a, f <laughs> this was the perfect time to reinstall, um, I've still got like 12 days. All right, any upgrades completed will be valid for as long as the device lasts, so if I ever need to nuke this, this uh, virtual machine, then I won't be able to, because, well, I'll be able to, but then I won't be able to upgrade to Windows 10 again. Installing Windows is really just a lot of watching things. You know, the Windows XP installer, Windows XP, now that was a nice installer. It had music in some parts of it, even the parts that didn't have music though, like it had a slideshow where it told you about like different features in Windows XP. I think Windows Vista might've had that too, actually. I do not remember Windows 7 having one. I don't remember Windows 7 having a slideshow in its installer. I'm pretty sure Windows 7's installer looked a lot like this one. But the Windows Vista installer, I think it, I'm pretty sure the Windows Vista installer had a slideshow. Maybe that was later in the process. The, the Windows XP installer had a slideshow for most of the setup process. There was a slideshow going that, where you could read about features and stuff. And most Linux distributions do that, but Microsoft actually has regressed. They used to do that. And, um... Linux distributions picked it up and started doing it, now Microsoft doesn't do it anymore, so now it's just something Linux has over Windows. Now we get to install updates. So that's great. You know, I've actually got a physical computer in this room, I'm going to have to do this too. Um, because it's broken, and I need to, well it's, I need to reinstall Windows on it. Somebody's paying me 30 bucks to reinstall Windows basically, because they, they got viruses, so. Okay, uh, alright, okay. See, that was a scary error message thing, but it's okay because, you know, I can I can deal with scary error messages, but yeah, like, no boxes didn't have those scary error messages like that, whereas this virtual machine manager does, but it's cool, it's cool. And now we're scaled. Now we are, oh, no, we're not, we're just squished? All right, yeah, the, the, this, oh, wait, are we scaled? No, we're not scaled. The aspect ratio is off on this thing. All right, getting devices ready. Yep, you get those devices ready. That's, uh, that's good. Getting, getting ready. All right, well, you can tell I'm just, I don't have any commentary for this because I wasn't planning on making a video for this, but, you know, I, I just, I didn't, the reason I didn't stop recording is because I didn't want to have to start recording again. Like, it's a process to start recording. You gotta go through your sim simple screen recorder is the software I use. Gotta go through your screen recording software. Make sure your settings are correct. You gotta go into Audacity, make sure you got the right mic enabled. You gotta do, like, audio checks to make sure your levels are okay on everything, you're not going to clip on anything, but you're loud enough to be heard without like having to boost it way too much. Yeah, you got to make sure all your all your settings everywhere are just, you know, right. Um, 
Okay, we are going to change every single one of these things, or most of these things, not every single one. Do not turn on sharing. Don't set up Windows Update. Don't automatically, uh, all right, turn this stuff off at least. That's irrelevant. Okay. Okay. No, no. Wait, no. No, yes. Um, yes, it's a Microsoft account, and creating, oh, creating the local account, I guess. A Linux installation would have been done already. Yeah, hi, hi. Now it's got the slideshow. See, Linux had this while it was actually, like, doing the installation. Anyway, yeah, like, it's a process to start recording, so I just didn't want to, um, you know, I didn't want to have to do that again because I like I went through that process, and I I I didn't expect you know the game to do excellently under gnome boxes, but you know I had never tried gaming under gnome boxes before. I honestly don't remember if that was any better or worse than VirtualBox because I like I booted up Minecraft literally one time in my life in VirtualBox. I don't think I ever tried Toontown under VirtualBox. Um, the only thing I did was yeah like one one time years ago, I started up um, Minecraft for about two seconds before I realized that that wasn't going to work. And I don't even remember why I did, because Minecraft has always been multi-platform, because it's Java. You know, build once, run anywhere, that's that, that's important. That's actually legit. Um, you know, a lot of people, like, scoff at that, you know, Java's thing, where you only have to write a Java program once. You can run it on any computer. That's, as a Linux user, that's actually great. Because if, if your game's written in Java or your program's written in Java, I can run it under Linux. Yeah, I don't know if VirtualBox gaming is going to be better today than it was five years ago last time I tried it. Probably, I'm guessing. Um, and yeah, I don't know if Gnome Boxes was better or worse than than VirtualBox, but yeah, I, I just wasn't expecting the game to be that poor performance. So yeah, like I I expected not, I, I was like thinking, okay, I might not be able to move around in game. Moving around in game might be too taxing for a virtual machine, but then like I, I expected to be able to use the menu. You know, I expected when my mouse rolls over one of the menu options, like maybe like half a second of lag there, but I wasn't expecting to literally not be able to use the menu. That was just, that was just a little sad. But yeah, we'll see if installing these drivers, um, I didn't realize there were guest drivers you can install. That's probably going to help quite a bit, actually. Um, so we'll install those, these here, and, uh, version 0 0.100, that's, that means they've been working, they've, so long that they've had a hundred releases, yet they're only a tenth of the way there you know, mathematically. Um, all right, let's start. Let's, let's, let's start. Let's do that. Windows. Great. Oh boy. Windows 8. Okay. This is actually, um, might be a little better performance. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. First thing I want to do, I guess Explorer is the only thing I've installed. Um, I want to go ahead and, ah, DuckDuckGo opens up. That's awesome. Why is that? Why, why is that? That's... Why did DuckDuckGo, uh... Why, why did DuckDuckGo open up by default? That's really weird. Huh. Alright, well... Um... Oh, that, right, I was, uh, I was also wanting to open up... Control Panel. So that I can adjust my screen resolution a bit. Yeah, let's do 1920 by 1080. Keep changes. And, uh, right. So this should, that, that should be aligned with what I had this set to before. Download that Windows binary. The first thing I do is running an exe file off of the internet. The very first thing I do. I don't even, where did I even get linked here from? Where did I get the link to this? Did I get it from, oh, I got it. No, I didn't get it from the ArchWiki. I got it from a some random thing I got off of Google search. All right, well, Red Hat, I trust. Red Hat's great. How do they verify? Okay, whatever. Windows guest tools. I, I can't, I, I don't know if they installed or not. All right, well, let's see if um, shared clipboard is working. Yep, shared clipboard's working. All right, so I'm gonna restart this computer now. How do you restart a computer, uh, Windows 10 thing? That's, 
Here we go. Power. Is there a way... Most of the time I like that this doesn't capture my mouse, but I actually would like it if this captured my mouse right now. Oh, resize display to VM. That, that's handy. That's handy. Um, okay, this is... Maybe it's a little bit faster. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just placebo. Um, we're going to open up task manager. I'm going to see if there's any like drivers or anything cool like that running. Yeah, spice agent. Spice service. All right, we're going to see if that stuff improves performance at all. Where? How can we... Where is the Steam download? Download, download Steam, please. Can we download... Install Steam. There we are. Duh. Next. 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 Show those details. And the first thing we just installed it. We just installed it. And it needs an update. Come on. And I'm getting my phone out, opening up Gmail because I know Steam Guard's going to email me when I sign in here. Well, that's never a good sign. Can't even get Steam to install. Don't know how we're going to run a game. Oh, it's just writing to the disk. All right. That's all it's doing. CPU's doing okay. Virtual machine, yes. Windows knows that it's a virtual machine. I think I might have typoed my password there. Yep. Updating some more. Can never update enough. I'm going to go ahead and take my Windows DVD out of my DVD drive now. Put it back so I can package the packaging back up nicely. Okay, and... Ruby, Grim Eclipse, install next. I hope it doesn't download my data from the, the two seconds. If it's if it saved my, my single player game, I'm going to restart it manually. If there's a way to. There's gotta be a way to, to do that. Man, Steam stuff takes forever to download. See like 3.3 .3 megs? Like I know that my internet speed, actually that might actually just be my internet speed capping that. No, I think my internet speed's higher than that. I'm pretty sure my internet speed, well, Charter says my internet speed's 100 megabytes per second. Normally I can get around 20. So I don't know why Steam's giving me 5.8. I don't understand what this is. 7.5 megabytes per second disk usage. Is that like how fast it's writing? How can it write to the disk faster than it's downloading? Unless it's like saving it up and then writing in bursts. I don't know why, why it would do that though. And see what's up with this. Like it Network just drops off. I hope this works, because otherwise this will have been a waste of an hour. This isn't one of those projects where I'm... Some projects I'm I'm not going to stop until I get it working. Um, this is a project that I did on a whim. And so if it doesn't work, I'll just reboot back into Antergos and watch another episode on the spot. Keep working on the displaced bloopers. I just thought, hey, what the heck, might as well install Windows. I'm actually happy it, it didn't take a whole super long time to install. I like how their logo in Steam is this like really high quality like graphic here. And then their icon is just a super low res thing. Like what what icon is that? Can we we get a no, no, that just makes it smaller. That makes it look better when it's smaller. Oh, it's an internet shortcut. Oh, that's how uh, Steam shortcuts work? Huh. Oh, we can we can change the icon if we want to. So I could go and get like a screen cap of Ruby and make that a higher quality icon. I guess the game's not installed yet, so that must be metadata in Steam. Oh, it's this icon. All right, so see, this is, this is a smaller resolution anyway. They probably have like a file size for that icon, even if they don't. Yeah, the, that resolution's smaller than the Windows resolution displays here. So see, when you go in to view it here, it's the same same size. Yeah, so it looks fine. 85% done. This I'm stalling. I don't need to stall. Like, I don't need to vamp. I always do this in my videos. I'm, I'm vamping right now. I'm vamping. I'm talking to you guys while we're waiting for this to load. But the thing is, this isn't a live stream. Like, that, the vamping is great during a live stream, but except for my vamping is pretty boring. But yeah, like... A live stream, you need to vamp when things are loading and whatnot, but w these are pre-recorded edited, polished videos, I could cut all of this out. But see, I'm actually making it harder on myself to do that because if I didn't talk when nothing was happening, then I could just cut out all the silence. Like, I see a big gap of silence, I normally cut it. Okay, we're done. Um, gonna launch it. Okay, Ruby Grim Eclipse. 
Here we go. Let's see if this works any better or if it's just as slow and crappy and if we're going to have to wait until the Mac version comes out so we can see if the virtual machine with Mac OS in it does any better. I wish they'd just make a Linux version of it, but I know they're not going to. Oh, oh yeah. I thought it crashed. All right, Rooster Teeth Games. All right, so so far it's actually worse than uh, with GNOME boxes. Uh, yeah, this is actually going a whole lot slower than uh, with GNOME boxes. So maybe, maybe GNOME boxes is actually idiot proof, and this tool that we're using now is not idiot proof. And so GNOME boxes did it better than we did. Probably that's probably what happened. If we could get past the title screen, that'd be great. Oh. All right, I'm hearing the menu music and I just, I heard my mouse go over. Oh, all right. Yeah, no, this is worse. This is definitely a downgrade. It was actually better in GNOME boxes than here. All right, click. Make sure our quality is still on low, but yeah, this is, this is not promising. I just wanted to play some darn Ruby. Like, come on. That's so much to ask. Alright. Yeah, quality's potato. That's excellent. Um, as soon as this... Alright. I keep looking over to see my hard drive light solid. Because, you know, when your computer goes super slow, your hard drive light is usually solid. Um, but then I remember, you know, it's not the host that's struggling, it's the, uh, it's the guest. The music stopped. <sighs> um. Yeah. Nope. Oh, hey. No? It's not even what I clicked on. Alright. We're gonna kill this. Oh, okay. I was just gonna, oh, force off is what I was looking for. I accidentally clicked the correct, yeah, no, force off. Yes. All right. We are going to switch that over, nope. Can we find options for it? File. I, I'd like to adjust a setting or two here. Um, actually, only one. I'd like to adjust one setting. I'd like to try this. All right. Um, yeah, I want to try this with VNC instead of Spice. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try that. Oh, oh, we've only got 16 megabytes of VRAM. Hmm, that's probably the, the issue. Yeah, no matter what, we've only got 16 megabytes. Okay, well, that's good and bad, because I know that you can get up to, like, 128, maybe even 256 with, uh, VirtualBox. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna start this up. I didn't want to spend my Sunday night installing Windows a bunch, but yeah, no. If if, if there's only 16 megabytes of, of VRAM, that that would be the problem right there. Um, hello Windows 8. Wow, VNC is really bad. Look at how. Okay, well we'll see if like the performance is any better. What are you doing? Why'd you open twice? There's no updates available. I just updated you twice. One of these is gonna fail and say Steam's already open. I'm calling it. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, so now you can see how... Okay, I need to log in. Now you can see how the mouse in the virtual machine lags a little bit behind. Uh, just because I don't think this is actually going to work, I'm not confident in this right now. Uh, we're going to open up the software center, and we're going to install VirtualBox. Although VMware would probably be better for this sort of usage, wouldn't it? VMware. Yeah, let's see what, what free options are out there for VMware right now. Products. Personal desktop. Okay. Um, gonna download. What kind of a bundle is that? It says dot bundle. All right. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, this surprisingly enough. Also, I, I now have no sound. I'm not getting sound out of this machine anymore. Yeah, the Linux, the Linux uh, virtualization tools are great if you know what you're doing and or you have a lot of hardware and or you're running a server. 
Yeah, no, there's not even sound anymore. Okay. Not to mention it's still not <laughs> not good performance. All right, we're going to force that off. Yes. That is why I didn't put in my license key, because I didn't want to put in my license key 10 times today, because they would probably shot that license key right down. All right. Dot bundle. No, I didn't want to open it in Gedit. That's not what I wanted to do. It's not what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. Downloads. Oh, I hope I don't have anything in here. All right. Okay. We're going to uh, SH. Oh, no, no, no. CD downloads. We're going to close out of here so I don't have to censor that anymore. SH dot slash VM. All right. LS. Sage. I'm going to run that. All right sudo all right here we go now see VMware figured out like the Linux installer um, you know people whining about snap packages and like app images and flat packs like you know VMware figured it out they made a dot bundle that just works beautifully um, so I don't see why everyone else can't do that See, like this, this is just like Windows. It feels like I'm installing a Windows program, which isn't even good. I'd rather this be in the repository, but I know it's super proprietary, so it's not in the repository, which is why I'm installing it on my gaming, you know, distro and everything. Because my gaming distro, I don't care about, you know, freedom. I just want games to work. Whereas my work distro that I actually make videos on, I only use, you know, open source software on. I I don't even have Chrome installed. I just, I actually I might have installed. No, I don't have Chrome installed. I have Chromium installed, but I use Firefox on a day-to-day -day basis. But yeah, like for people who want a Windows style installer, this looks and feels like a Windows style installer. So, you know, um, they, yeah, you know, everyone who wants the, the universal Linux installer should just look to VMware because this is, this is pretty much, you know, suits me pretty well. You know, I just want something to install easily. Works perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and take my Windows 10 DVD back out. My Windows 8 DVD, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and put this back into the computer because looks like I'll be needing it at least one more time. All right, installation was successful. Sweet. So VMware. VMware. All right. VMware Player. Free version. Can't be any worse than VirtualBox, right? Maybe it can. All right. Free, non-commercial use. Jacob, oh you, I have to agree to receive promotional emails from VMware. All right, all right, new virtual machine. Then this is absolutely not commercial use, by the way, because I'm not using this for Nerd in the Street stuff. I'm literally using this to play video games. Um, although I, well, I suppose I'm recording the video games. Did I not just install? Oh, you have to purchase it, okay, um, no. All right, next, Windows product key. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I should have just gone with um, VirtualBox, but it's been a long time since I've used this. Uh, for been a while, sorry, I'm single file. Size so hardware, memory. Uh, we want eight gigs. Yep. And processors, four. Mm-hmm. Yes, Accelerate 3D Graphics. Graphics memory. Oh, sweet! See, this is what I'm talking about. 16 megabytes of graphics memory versus 2 gigabytes. That's what that's what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah. Finish. Uh, I hope it doesn't try and use 60 gigabytes of my hard drive space right now because it's not going to find 60 gigabytes free because there's only less than 40 gigabytes free as we found out last time, or between 40 and 50, like 43 gigs. Nautilus, Nautilus is now opening. I can't freaking talk right now. Yeah, my hard drive light is solid, so I think it's creating a file, but I hope it's not creating a 60 gigabyte file. All right, well, it didn't fail. We're gonna get out of here, Nautilus. Okay, zero bytes of system swap space is available. Is my hard drive full? Is, is that, did that just happen in front of my eyes? Is my hard drive full? No, no, I got 16 gigs free, all right. That's cool. Yeah, no, I don't have a swap drive. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
okay? Now, how am I going to, uh, to free up disk space? You know what I could do is I could delete one or more of the virtual machines that didn't work. That's probably a smart route. Um, delete. Hey, got some more free space now. Continue. Download and install. All right, so now this video is probably going to end up being like two hours, but I'll just cut out the first bit. Boy, I hope that didn't mess up the recording. Left, right, just in case it did, but it looks like, looks like we're good. This time I'm going to shut up while it's actually working through the installer just so I can cut through all that because you guys know what a Windows installation looks like already. All right, that actually didn't take too long. Oh, and now we're installing... Man, this is a slick package. I got to say, I know VMware is um, proprietary, but it's slick. Like, this is a slick package. Everything just... Like I said, like I had to run the one terminal command to install the thing. But even that, like, it just worked. Um, and then, you know, when you're installing your operating system, everything just goes through, and which GNOME boxes also did, to be fair. But yeah, like, this just auto-launches the VMware tool setup inside of here. It's, it's all a very slick experience, very smooth experience. Yeah, like I said, been a while since I've used VMware. Um, it's a little more difficult to install, not a whole lot more difficult, but just a little bit more difficult to install the VirtualBox tools inside of a Windows guest if you're on a Linux host. Yeah, but, like, I'm not saying it's hard in VirtualBox, but, like, it doesn't just pop up and do it for you like that. Like, you actually have to go and click stuff. Which is never what you want to do if you're using a computer. You never want to have to click stuff. Alrighty, so now we have Windows. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is actually, I can feel, this is smoother. Now, I don't know if it's smooth enough for a game, or I don't know if, you know, the, the better quality of friggin' everything is, is going to be smooth enough for a game, but um, if the better specs are going to do it. But, but yeah, definitely until my computer just froze there for a second, it was definitely working so much better. All right, left, right, just, you know, kind of sync every now and then. Now we got something weird going on with our, our mouse. Is there a way I can turn off the mouse going in and out automatically like that? I'm going to go ahead and pause the recordings for these, because um, I've been recording for so long.